Hello and welcome everybody. Hope you were doing well. Today I have received a few problems from someone and he has requested me to solve these problems. But in this class I'm going to solve a particular problem from there. So at the very beginning I will show you the given problem and from there we have to solve a particular requirement. So let's see the given problem first. So I can just read out from my mobile phone. And you can see right at this moment on your device screen as well. So, CC1 chemical bank must determine the cost of capital for a new stock issue. A dividend of $5.84 was just paid on its common stock outstanding. The company expects to maintain a constant 5.81% growth in dividends indefinitely with a current share price of $46.6 and floating costs of 8.099% what is the firm's cost of equity. As I have said that we have to compute from this problem the cost of equity and uh, we have given their different data uh, to compute the cost of equity. So let's see how we can solve this problem. Why are your learners? So we are given So as you can see, current dividend, their current dividend we denote it by D naught. So D naught is equal, we're given 5.84. On the other hand, growth rate, which is constant growth rate, that is denoted by small g and it is 5.81 percent so if we convert it into decimal then we will get 0.0581 so 0.0581 is our constant growth rate now floating cost rate floating cost rate that can be denoted by F and uh, we are given here percentage so the percentage I can see 8.099 percent 0.08099 so it will be the floating cost rate and finally as we can see that current share price so current share price which is denoted by P0 and the amount of current share price which is $46.6. So uh, from the given data we have to compute particular requirement which is cost of equity which is denoted by K equal what so this should be the requirement that we have to compute using the particular formula so cost of equity or K equal dn divided by P0 into 1 minus F plus G. So this should be the formula. So in percentage we have to consider here to show the results in percentage. If you, you want then we can multiply this formula uh, by 100. Otherwise we can just show the results uh, in percentage uh, at the conclusion. So here you can see dn, what is actually dn represents that we have to write and we have to compute. So dn where next year's dividend which is shortly written as dn and we have to compute dn using this equation denote into 1 plus g so here denote as you can see that 5.84 into 1 plus 
the value of growth rate is 5.81 or 0.0581 so we can write 0.0581 and uh, here 5.84 into 1.0581 if we multiply then we can write here the amount of dollar 6.18 so 6.18 should be the next year's dividend or dn uh, dn instead of writing dn we can write also d1 uh, so whatever you you want you can write in the numerator so here now we have to input into this equation the value of dn here we will write 6.18 so p naught as you can see there 46.6 therefore one less 0 0.08 or double nine and here growth rate we have to write there 0 0.0581 so this will be the input into the equation from the data we have so now it's time to compute using our calculator. Uh, therefore, we can write here 6.18. If we compute this portion, I mean uh, denominator, then we can write 42.83 plus 0 0.0581. And if we divide 6.18 by 42.83, then it will be 0.1443 plus 0.0581 and after addition it will be 0 0.2024 it means 20.24 percent so 20.24 percent should be the uh, cost of equity there you can see uh, so this will be the result or computation uh, that we want to get from the data given and from the requirements. So hopefully you have come to understand how to solve this problem and hopefully the person who has sent this problem to me to solve not only this question but also their number of questions or problems I will solve one after another. So it is the solution of that particular problem or one of the problems. This problem will be very helpful to understand if you are given this type of problem in near future. So for today I am telling you to all goodbye. Hopefully we will be meeting in next some classes. Till then stay happy and very blessed.